warning, do this at your own risk. Go to settings, go to about device and tap the bill number about seven times. Once you're done, go to System, go to Developer's Options, turn Developer's Options on, make sure OEM on locking is enabled. A pop-up will say, are you sure you want to do this? Or something like that. And just press Enable, and it will enable, then enable USB debugging. And then go out of Developer's Options, and I'll show you what to do next. Type ADB Devices. Type ADB Reboot Bootloader, press enter, then once the phone boots in the fast boot mode, type in fast boot flashing on lock, and press enter. Now that you're in fast boot mode, and after you typed in fast boot flashing on lock, press the volume up button, and then hold Type in fast boot reboot, and the phone will reboot automatically, but then you'll have to enable developers options all over again and I'll show you how in a moment. Once the phone factory reset it after you unlock the bootloader, go to settings, then go to about device and press the build number about seven times, and then go to developers options, make sure it's turned on. You don't need to turn OEM unlock on because it's already unlocked, and just turn on USB debugging. Swipe down the notification bar and change the USB preferences from charging device to transfer files. Go to settings, go to about device and tap the bill number about seven times. Once you're done, go to System, go to Developer's Options, turn Developer's Options on, make sure OEM on locking is enabled. A pop-up will say, are you sure you want to do this? Or something like that. And just press Enable, and it will enable, then enable USB debugging. And then go out of Developer's Options, and I'll show you what to do next. Type ADB Devices. Type ADB Reboot Bootloader, press enter, then once the phone boots in the fast boot mode, type in fast boot flashing on lock, and press enter. Now that you're in fast boot mode, and after you typed in fast boot flashing on lock, press the volume up button, and then hold. Type in fast boot reboot, and the phone will reboot automatically, but then you'll have to Enable developer's options all over again, and I'll show you how in a moment. Once the phone factory reset it after you unlock the bootloader, go to settings, then go to about device and press the build number about seven times, and then go to developer's options, make sure it's turned on. You don't need to turn OEM on lock on because it's already unlocked, and just turn on USB debugging. Swipe down the notification bar and change the USB preferences from charging device to transfer files. Install 7-zip first. Extract ADB setup. Just type in Y for everything, because Y means yes, and press enter every time. Just press next. Just press install and put always trust software from Google. Just press finish.
Make sure you have template.zip extracted. Then extract wwrmtx. Go to the template.zip folder and copy template and place it in the wwrmtx. Extract driver auto installer. Open it. Press next. Press install. And it asks you to remove USB device. Unplug the phone from your computer and then press yes. Then restart your computer. Don't forget to plug the phone back into your computer. Go to the WWRMTX folder, open it. Then you click the second one, then choose English. Then you scroll down after you choose platform type. Um, then choose MT6771. Then create and save as. Then save it to a place where you will remember. Then you make a folder. I'll just call this root. And you just press save. Then you go to downloads, extract SP flash tool. Then you open the folder. Then you go to flash tool. Then you choose this, then you press choose, then you go to scatter file. Then you go to read back, then press add. Just copy 0x0, then press add an SP flash tool. Then double click and save it as ROM0. Then press save. Then add 0x0. Then copy 0x80000. And paste it into the readback block star address. And put it in a length. Then press OK. Power off your phone. Once it powered off, press the read back button.
Once it powered off, press the read back button. Then we're going to go to WWRMTX, and then we're going to put the ROM 0 file, then go to search up partitions, and then we're going to look at the boot partition length and the start address. As you see, I'm going to put it in a notepad so I can remember it, and you should do the same thing too. Just press add, then name it boot.img. Then go back to your notepad and put the start address in first. In that case, the start address starts with 020C. Then copy the one at the bottom too, and put it in the length. Power off your phone again, and once you power it off, press read back. Once you got the boot.img, we're going to go to GitHub, then go to Magisk, and scroll down until you see Magisk Canary. Then you press download. Then once it's done, press the, press the download, then press install, then press open. Press install. Press allow. Press patch VP meta image. You need to do this so it disables verify boot. So you could boot the modded boot.img. Just press copy on the boot.img and then go to your phone. Then go to downloads folder and press paste. After that, press next and press select and patch a file. Then press let's go. Now press the boot.img and press let's go. Go on your computer, go to your phone, then go to internal storage, go to downloads, move to Magisk, patched IMG to wherever you want.
Just type ADB Reboot Bootloader and press enter. Then type in fastboot flash boot and drag the boot image that we made from Magisk and then press enter. Then type fastboot reboot. Go to Root Checker, press Agree, press Get Started, then press Verify Root, press Grant. Congratulations, you have successfully rooted your Blue G9 Pro.